Hey everyone, welcome to another YouTube painting process video. Given that The Last of Us Part 2 just came out, I figured that I would paint Joel in his older form because it is a big contrast to the girls that I usually paint a lot. I will mention that barring the fact that there might be imagery which might coincide with some of the story points, generally speaking I won't be spoiling anything from the game. So I'd like to take the time to talk about something here. As per usual, it will be more on the intangible side of art rather than the technical more technique based stuff which I leave for my tutorials that you can check out in the links below. I've gotten quite a bit of fanfare lately with my Fire Emblem stuff and a very common comment that I see is that I have an interesting style. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for everyone who left a lot of positive vibes in my social media. And I figured that since we are on the topic of very stylized stuff, that I'll give a little bit of rundown on my thoughts and style. So first and foremost, when I am teaching my tutorials on coffee crying tutorials, I try my best to take style away from it because ultimately everybody will find their own styles by just knowing the fundamentals and just choosing what to omit and what to include, which is a testament to your decision making and your preferences. So for the people who have been asking how I go about my style, it's just something that I hope not to have people learn from because I did develop this and it is literally impossible for me to kind of give you how I decide every single aspect in every single artwork I do. A style is like a signature. It's something that you can't really replicate because there are so many variables when it comes to art. Even if you try your best to copy a signature of someone you know, you'll realize that first and foremost, they probably do it a lot more naturally, and second of all, you'll most likely not be able to get it perfectly, and that's exactly how style works. So my advice for everyone is try your best to strip down a lot of the artwork that you might like into fundamentals rather than trying to copy every brushstroke and every color and that sort of thing because in my opinion that will only cause a lot more confusion when you're doing your own artwork. Now there are ways to study and practice styles that you do like but I am currently creating tutorials for a client about this very topic so I can't really reveal too much until it is out. My point is that you shouldn't worry too much about it, but you also shouldn't neglect it. You want to learn all the technical side that is independent of whatever style you're looking for, so the art fundamentals. But once you get to a certain point, that's when you should start studying and really understanding how you are built and how you think and what you prefer and this can be very hard because you could have a lot of artists that you like but as I said before you can't just replicate them. Nobody really moves the brush the same way and nobody thinks the same. Our life experiences are all independent and we bring our subconscious into the work and it's just not going to work out if you're just trying to copy. This is most prevalent when you're talking about anime because a lot of people like watching anime and then they try to copy it but ultimately 
you might even notice that between different series of anime, they're all distinct styles. So even within the same genre, there are multitudes of ways to execute it, depending on who the art director or the artist are. The good news is that whatever you settle on with your style, you'll figure something out that is uniquely yours and perhaps a lot of people will start seeing your sense of originality as well. Just don't worry too much about it and if you really do like my work, don't try to copy it directly. Just see what I might do at certain points and just give your own twist to it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video. Now I will mention that OBS was really crashing on me during this recording, so it's going to be missing quite a few parts and there's going to be a lot of jumps. This was a pretty cool portrait, so I wanted to put this out even though the recording is very incomplete. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.